Mr. Gandhi. I believe he had passed away here in this house. And as soon as he had passed away, apparently his spirit didn't want to leave. Yeah. So they have just seen somebody walking around, look like a man walking around at night. And uh, they've heard the footsteps. I felt the vibration on the floor of somebody walking. It sounds like it's in that room. It is. It sounds like footsteps. I heard something in the room. Whoa. What the hell was that? That was right behind you. Yo, Rodney. Hey, so we, we, we didn't get to investigate the Nat Davis house like we were like we were hoping to. So, you know, this is uh, day number two. So we're not gonna investigate the Nat Davis house. And look who's joining us, who finally made it. Made it today too. So Nat Davis is actually right over there. That, you know, we're not gonna investigate, but we are gonna, we got a cool place, which is known to be haunted, yes. correct? It was on Mr. Paranormal Montgomery expert oh, here. Oh, yeah. What can we expect here, man? Just real quick. Uh, you will expect definitely human footsteps. Okay. Uh, there's a little kid that's wandering around uh -huh. and this was just you might hear a little giggle wow <laughs> so uh a rocking chair uh -huh. that does move yeah 1700s okay it should still be back there it's been All right. a couple of years since i've been back there, so. oh wow okay cool man i mean i'm, I'm excited so oh, yeah. that we uh that we have an, another investigate another place to investigate yeah. here in montgomery so uh anyway let's let's check it out here we go Garrett House Antiques actually began as two individual houses. They were later merged and then situated on the corner of Houston and Ava Streets. H.F. Sander was the earliest recorded owner before the sale in October 1906. Ownership of the house shifted to multiple families over the years. In 2003, the McGee's sold it to Joe Shockley, who later renovated and relocated the house to its current location. Okay, guys. Well, we're here at the uh, the yep. antique store, and uh, and we are speaking with Kathy Hemby. Okay, Kathy, and uh, how long have you been here? Tell us a little oh, bit about the. On, about fifteen years. L tell us a little bit, a little bit about the uh, the antique store. Garrett's well, house. it's it's always been haunted. They said. Okay. And uh, the the different dealers have had things happen to them, and uh, one of them had passed away that started the uh, ghost tour here. Okay. Wow. And all right. she had the gift of the feeling of them and, uh -huh. and all that, and she would tell us stuff. And the only one that I have is that she called me up on the phone one night and she said, Kathy. Did you pop popcorn in the Garrett house last night? Uh -huh. Nobody pops popcorn. Wow. In there. And I said, no. She said, well, there's popcorn kernels all over the room. Wow. Back like there were the microwave. Yeah. Was. So, uh, and we didn't even have popcorn in here. Wow. Uh, Dale, that's the owner, she mm -hmm. has, uh, knows a lot from Mary. Okay. One of them was when the paranoials came and spent the night here before the ghost tour started, which Mary stayed with them and uh -huh. stuff. Well, one of the ones that was filming, he had been with the company for quite a while. Okay. And he quit a day or two later because it was too much for him. Wow. Jeez. And you said you had mentioned that you had recently experienced something yes, here? Yes, this morning. I got here at about 10. I think about a quarter 11, the alarm went off mm -hmm. for me to set it. Uh-huh. That's never happened. Wow. So I had to turn the alarm off. So about an hour later, I had people in here and people want to go out. The uh -huh. alarm goes off again. This time the sirens went off. So I told them, wait a minute, I got to cut the alarm off. Then a few minutes, about 30 minutes later, here comes the police officer. <laughs> he said, we got a uh, call, alarm went off. Uh -huh. Everything okay? I said, yeah, it's the ghost. And he said, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so even the cops uh -huh. are aware of that. Uh -huh. Wow, and okay. Then, uh, the lady from the uh, alarm system called and she uh -huh. said, uh, a panic cough from y'all's shot from the alarm system. She said, is everybody okay? And I said, yeah, it's 
it just went off. I didn't say no. Is there a location here yeah, that we, we can, that we can focus on? In my room, Mary used to have this room. She's deceased now. Uh -huh. uh, she used to always say the uh, most of it was back here in this corner. Okay. The, the doll room is pretty now, creepy. It used to be back there in the book room. <laughs> oh, okay. So, ah. Lots of dolls back there. Okay. So now they're moved here. So the creepiness wasn't due to the dolls. It's, there's something going on in that room, correct? Mm -hmm. So. And then we had a dealer move into this room uh -huh. a few years back. Okay. She had boxes stacked up. Uh -huh. When she came back the next morning, all the boxes were scattered everywhere. Wow. Are there other people coming in uh, a little later? You said maybe around uh, four to, to I tell think us. They said about four because it was a note in the uh, okay. book for us dealers that y'all were coming around okay. four. Now the other team that she had mentioned that was coming in at four o'clock was actually us, but she was thinking that it was another group called the uh, Ghost Hunting Beauties. Well, I am no Ghost Hunting Beauty by any stretch of the imagination, and we told her that we weren't Ghost Hunting Beauties and doubts arose and then we started thinking that this investigation might not happen after all we're gonna go to the brewery and it's a hot day outside and i hear yeah. they're serving crawfish today uh -huh. nothing okay. like crawfish Which and brewery? beer the franken something or other okay, yes. yeah so yes. we're just gonna go check it out get some uh drinks okay. and then we're gonna come back and investigate so let's go check it out here we go we didn't leave right away to go to the brewery. I decided to stick around, shoot a little b-roll, and then this happened. Wow. Well, I am shooting b-roll right now, and it sounded like somebody was walking right behind me. I heard shuffling, which is really weird. Wow. It is an old house, so, you know, if people move in one room, then it sounds like uh you, you'll hear it in other parts of the uh the house but this literally sounded like somebody was shuffling right behind me wow that's crazy oh well Guys, well, hold on. what did y'all think of the Franken Bolts? That was brewery? good. I like it. The crawfish. What did you think crawfish of the crawfish? Was good. Crawfish was good. It was yeah. Good. So it looks like we're uh, actually doing an investigation. It was a little hiccup. It seemed like we it may have it wasn't going to happen, but it looks like it might. Yeah. So we're heading over there right now. We're gonna meet Mel and uh, oh, keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully Adele will show up and we'll get this investigation started and, and going. I mean, it started out pretty good when I heard the footsteps behind me, so yeah, I'm excited. There. I was feeling it. I'm excited. Really anyway, here, here we go, guys. You call me a flight risk, try to close my eyelids and let the sound of water fill me from the bottoms up with the sun down. Take a quick look around, I don't recognize your eyes, but I know this. I'm like nothing out of the ordinary. Hi, Adele. So Gabriel. So yes, ma'am. No, it's okay. Now, I always tell the ghosts that if they're there, that they just need to be quiet during the day and not bother people. And I don't care what they do at night. If somebody breaks in, they can take yeah. care of it. Yeah. <laughs> People come in and they feel them all the time. Uh -huh. I just 
people tell you the same stories, mm -hmm. the same feelings in the same places. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's certain places. Yeah, I mean, but it's consistent. But yeah. they're from strangers. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, they'll just walk in and go, "Do you have ghosts?" I don't know if you noticed, that says K.O.'s Corner over there. Yeah. Oh, yes. And Mary K.O. was one of our dealers. Okay. And she did the ghost tour, um, and she was killed in a car crash. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, unexpectedly, was Yeah, and it wasn't in her scheme of things at yeah. all. Yeah. And one lady came in and she said, you, you know you have ghosts, yes. I said, oh, where, where are they? She said, she's standing right next to me. And I said, oh. What does she look like? You know, so she described Mary to a T. Wow. I know that <laughs> Carla, when Carla moved in, which was a number of years ago, she'd been here and she said, do we have ghosts? And I said, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you about that. <laughs> I said, why? She said, well, nothing's really like the way I left it. I went, oh, okay guys, Carla's here to stay. You have to help her. Do not mess with her stuff. I think Kathy had mentioned that that there was that she had boxes in the back or something, and then they came back the next day, or and then they were, they were scattered different, different. all over the place or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Okay. There's a picture back there that tells who lived here. Okay, I saw that. Yeah. But yeah, my landlord told me that a doctor was here in this house too before it was moved here, and that was his office, and the back room was his surgery. We also, that used to be the doll hospital, and it had a gate on it so people could look in but not mm -hmm. walk in, and that gate would creak when you opened it. Well, it would just creak a lot wow. when nobody was here. There was also a rocking chair someplace around here, and there'd be a little girl that would sit in the rocking chair, wow, and think. it would rock. In the mirror. Which one is it? Is it this mirror here where people, oh, yeah. people Wait, see what, what something mirror? behind? What about <coughs> Come see. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, and the lady so. was trying on hats. Uh -huh. um, the lady behind her helped her pick out which hat she should get. And there wasn't there was anybody no. else. Wow. Here. Okay, now this little detail here is really important for what's going to happen a little later. So before we did the investigation, I decided to shoot a little bit more b-roll especially in the room that was that used to be the doctor's office and mel and ronnie came in there with me mel had made an observation there was a shelf with some shot glasses and one of them was knocked over no big deal we didn't think much of it she just said hey look one's knocked over i'm going to put it back up now in between my shots i was doing five second b-roll shots and in between my shots when i was recording while mel was standing there the shot glass fell over on its own right next to mel oh you were but no i was i was walking over but then it fell but yeah that's crazy set it up again and let me walk again let's let's wow i got goosebumps all yeah set it up back. holy crap no way all yeah, right you see all right let's face. Let, yeah all right so here goes i'm gonna walk again the exact what i just did yeah there's no way that thing just fell. that just tipped. keep filming it that literally Can tipped you do over. That again, please let us see it fall. Dude, we just got here and already footsteps. Thing fell over right next to Mel. Right at my shoulder. Wow. Can you do that again, please? We haven't officially started investigating yet. No, we're right just still done. doing walkthroughs, and I don't even have my equipment. Okay. Let me go get my stuff. Show us. Just one more. I had literally just turned off the my camera on my phone because I was walking this way because I was just getting some B-roll in here. I literally just turned it off and then that's when it fell over. over. I'm like, oh. I'm gonna ignore all right, well, let me... Uh, Has it moved at all? No. So I'm going to stop recording and I'm going to go get my stuff. Well, looks like this is coming. We're going to be investigating and this is coming our way really really interesting and so far it's been active that's gonna be uh pretty interesting pretty exciting night all right well see what happens 
that ominous looking storm in the distance, even though it rolled in with really cooler weather, it ended up completely missing us. These dolls are really kind of creepy. All right, so we have the music box in no, here. I can't see the face on that one. At, really by the mirror. See it? By the supposed like haunted mirror. Or and we have our other devices over here. A motion detector device that makes that annoying sound. So, hello. 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 He hello. hello. All right. <clears throat> We're about to get this started. And then we have the run pot over here. And it was going off really crazy a little while ago while I was on live. So, this is where the shot glass had fallen over. But anyway. Yeah, let's get this started. Here we go. It's 8.30. We're at the uh, Garrett House Antiques in Montgomery. We got the crew here. Mel, Rodney, Rachel, and me. And we've been invited to come and try to communicate with you guys and see if we can document it. So, we mean no disrespect. We did bring some devices, but the devices will help us communicate with you. And they're completely safe. Um, start right. Take it from Riley. Something rattling behind you, babe? Yeah, but... I heard that right. It sounded like it was outside, though, didn't it? Or yeah. I thought it was like in the next... No, no it sounded like here. it was in this room, but this is where it's going to be difficult because the house is old. Yeah. Any yeah. slightest movement Any, we yeah. do. Can... It rattles. It... Yeah. Yeah, so we got to yeah. just be yeah. very as aware. As still as possible. Yeah. yeah. Were you the one that knocked the glass over? Because that was fun. I set it back up. Can you knock it over again? And then I'll go set it up again. We really just want to play with you. All of you get to know you. Even Mr. Serious Surgeon back there. Look like we may have been talking to you earlier, Mary. Every time I'd mention that name in that tour, the K2 would go off. But it went off a while ago. Just based on how we've heard others describe her, she's a very sweet, nice woman. Yeah. Here. That's that the K2? It's the REM pod. That's the REM pod. Where is it? But you see, it's making, that, surgeon's room? it's making that weird sound again. It's, it's not the it's proximity really sound, it's just, it. It, just well, it just went off. It was doing it earlier, we reset it and it, and it stopped. Mm -hmm. Can you make it go off again? Can you make, can, whatever you did to make it have that sound, can you do that again, please? Well, and the house has moved here. What'd you hear? I heard something in there too. I heard that too. It's like a breath. No, like it was, a breath? Like, no, it wasn't a breath. It was like a sound. A sound like a bowl almost. On a okay, yeah, it's kind of it's like. Yeah, like. Yeah. Is that outside? Is that your smoke No. That was the phone. Yeah. It got pretty still and quiet, so then we decided to move towards the back where the doctor's surgery room used to be. Oh! Oh! I didn't do it. That was wrong. I haven't moved, I promise. No place to sit in here, so. Oh! oh. No. no! Things barely sit in here, but I'm trying to get it out of the way. It seems fine. like things are going from bad to worse there, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Can I help? Was it that rock? Oh no, that's that's bound. What was that sound? It had to have been this one. Yeah, it had to have been falling over. Nothing has fallen. That's weird. That was loud. Something something must have fallen. Maybe it's Wait, on the but other But there was side. nothing there? There's literally nothing has fallen. Maybe it's on the other side of the wall? Oh, it was right here, yeah, wasn't it? Was right behind yeah, it? Yeah, that's... Oh, it was right here. Was that you? Can you make Are it? Are you recording? Yeah. Can you do it again? Can you make one of the pieces of equipment go off even though it sounded like Ronnie had bumped into something and something was knocked over we found nothing out of place and besides that sound it was really really quiet in the room 
So then we decided to move into the mirror room where all the dolls are. I did. The floor squeaked, sorry. It popped over here, so good to know. I heard the pop. Huh? I heard that pop. Yeah, it's right here next to me is when she moved. You, uh, here, I'll move again. Well, it wasn't that. No, it was a pop right next to me. Yeah, it was a pop. I'm sitting on a stool. Okay, then it wasn't me. I, mine's squeaking, but mine's not moving enough to affect wherever you're at. Yeah, this is definitely... Like somebody had stopped, moved or stomped down and it made the fork pop? Yeah, I definitely didn't hear, did not hear a pop. I'm gonna move this. What was that? That was me. I'm moving. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It was a tone. Yeah, but I think it was because I, I lift and it shifted. Yeah, that's for me moving around. It's not like a phone ringing a hundred miles away. So yeah, I heard. I heard that too. But it, did it? Was it outside? It's not like very far away. Oh, it was right. Okay, I'm getting up with the EMF and I'm going over by Rodney. There goes that sound again. Well, it sounds like a phone ring. I'm like an old-fashioned ringer. I these two were just vibrating, like glass vibrating. When oh yeah, up. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it oh, could be. Okay. Besides a few sounds that we heard, some of them explained, some of them not so much. We decided to take a break and go outside and enjoy the cooler weather. And we actually sat down and recorded an episode for our podcast. The link is down below in the description so you can check that out. Alright, so we just came back from taking a break. That was over here. You yeah, heard that too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Over there? Mm -hmm. I heard that cough. Was it a cough? It was over there. Rachel, you didn't hear it. Did you hear it? I heard, to me it kind of sounded like a knock. No, it was more like a... <laughs> I heard a, yeah, I heard a... Yeah, poop, poop. yeah. But it sounded like a, like a knock to me. There was, you know, it happened right after the knock, and then... It, it sounded like a cough. cough. And then another knock. It was like... <coughs> mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. yeah. I didn't hear that. Oh, maybe, you, hopefully your camera got it. Yeah. I thought it was Rachel. Uh-uh. After spending another considerable amount of time there in the mirror room, it went relatively quiet. So then we decided to move into the spinning wheel room. Is there anybody in this room? With us right now? Did you use any of this equipment in here? Well, this isn't creepy at all. How is that thing stuck to the wall? I don't know, but I'm, I haven't seen anything scary yet. I mean, seriously, I don't know what these people got so scared of, but I haven't seen one tiny little thing that's scary. I mean, I, I've... We've heard noises. We've heard stuff has moved. Stuff, yeah, yes. but... Oh, I'm, gonna go check, I'm gonna check the damn. Oh yeah, let's go look at the after uh, the podcast. Uh, yeah, I don't. I, felt it's, different. I mean, it was different, I, isn't it? A little bit, yeah. Oh, it's still up. Still up. Yeah. Everything is still in place. That was so bizarre. That was just crazy that it just fell. I can't. Oh, cause I literally was standing just like this. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, you hear it. Which one was it? This one. Anyone else? Put one of these things to get, they're all the same size. Yeah. You don't have to be scared of it. We're not here to hurt you. We really just want to play with you. You're not in trouble. You're not in trouble for knocking the shot glass over at all. But we would love it if you'd do it again. <gasps> no way. It just happened. Oh, wow. holy, sh holy crap. And you were recording it, weren't you, Rodney? No. No, Rodney. Uh I know what you're thinking. How can we tell 
it wasn't Ronnie that knocked the shot glass over? How do we know there wasn't somebody else standing next to Ronnie that knocked the shot glass over? I mean, it would really help if we had another camera angle, right? Well. You don't have to be scared of it. We're not here to hurt you. We really just want to play with you. You're not in trouble. You're not in trouble for knocking the shot glass over at all. We would love it if you would do it again. Oh! <gasps> no way. It just happened. Oh, wow. Gosh. Holy crap. And you were recording it, weren't you? Rodney? No. No, Ronnie. Uh, you are? Rachel. I wasn't. I was recording I, no, the freaking I, I, I did it too, right damn after it. it fell down. What, Rodney? I got it on audio, but. Oh, fuck, I was recording Gabe, the damn thing too. Gabe, you, Gabe, you didn't get it. I was recording it, but I didn't know. I was recording, but I wasn't pointing directly at that. And I was pointing at the damn K2. Man. I'm can, it, can you make the ball light up, please? That would be fabulous if you could make the ball. Light. That is yeah. just unreal. That is so cool. Wow. That little ball she put in that little other shot. Get us really happy and excited and make that ball light up. You only have to get close to it. You only have to touch it just barely. I can't believe that glass fell over. That is just crazy. I On command, too. I, oh, I was recording. Now, I have it on video before it happens. So what and I was just that? got it. Well, yes, we and have it. But I got it on audio Stand as soon as that happened. Run. Huh? Stand it back up. I'm scared. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not afraid. Of <laughs> but it is cold. Is it? Let me Dude, see. Dude, I literally had it back so far. It was touching the other yeah, glass. Yeah, and I made sure. Touching the other glass. I okay. made sure. All right, let me take one. Let me get by you real quick. Just, just so we can see. Because there's just... It's not like it's on the edge. It's not like no, it's tilting. Sure it's not, not... on the edge. It's... Like I can't push them right There's just no way so unless awesome. it was pushed. Unless it, it was pushed. Gabe right yeah. now. Can you make it? Can you please do it again? And thank you for doing it. Yeah, that's amazing. You can do it again. You've done it three times already. If you do it one more time, well, we won't ask you to do it anymore. That's so fucking cool. That's wild. That is. That's that's cool. Adele. Yeah. She was here. She was yeah. bouncing up and down. She right stunk. And yeah. None of it moved. Yeah. Please do it again. And you know, all this evening, this whole time, it hasn't done it again. No. Yeah. Until we come in until here and ask, ask for it. Yep. So we're asking again. Can you please do that again for us? Pretty please. And then we won't ask you anymore. We'll know it's you. We'll believe you're here and that you did that. All right, so Rachel's taking off. Bye. What an awesome experience. Man, you know cool. what? I'm going to take off here in a little bit. Rodney is staying. And if he captures if he captures anything, then it's going to be in the epilogue. I hope so. Bringing it in an epilogue. So, after man, what, yeah, great. After what happened? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This right here is, oh, yeah. This was really cool. It this, gives me goosebumps just thinking about it, man. That's yeah. just, how cool is that? Yeah. What an awesome it was experience. Like a build up to it. Yeah, it sure was. And it's still the night of yeah. the and, and Yeah, exactly. And you're going to be here by yourself. I know. Damn, man. So as soon as we got here, the footsteps and, you know, the, the shot glass that happened earlier. And then just again that it happened on command. It just, yeah. that is crazy. That is just crazy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But it was it was a fun night. It was really cool. What, what an awesome experience. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. It was a fun, awesome Great experience. Great time. Great time. Yeah, so. Good times. Yeah. Good times. Good times. And Good times. Um, yeah. thank you, thank Fidel, you. For, for, uh, for letting us yes. investigate. But, yeah, we're just signing out right now. I'll close this here in a little bit. But thank you, guys. Awesome job. Man, we had, we had a thanks, blast. Thanks, guys, for being able to yeah, make it. Yeah, awesome. And thanks yeah. to the spirits in Thank in you, the spirits. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll Peace. see you later. See you Peace, down the night. road. Just when I thought I was out. Man, you see, it's been doing that though. That's.
Dude, I don't know, man. It's been kind of doing that the whole night, so I don't know. That's that's crazy. It could be the battery, the cheapo batteries. I have more in the bag. The double, the, I, I just threw them all in there. Yeah. Okay. And just in case, if you want to test out. Yeah, I'll do that. Damn. Ah, well, all right, dude, I'm out of here. That's all crazy. Right. Just when I thought I had signed off. <laughs> all right, dude, good luck, man. Okay. No, I'm out. That's strange, but all right, guys. Good night. What an awesome road trip this was. I, I truly appreciate and enjoy visiting the historic town of Montgomery, Texas because of the unique and special history which showcases a rich and diverse heritage. The town's origins as a trading center, its role during the Civil War, and its connection to the railroad era highlights its historical significance. The preservation of the Montgomery Historic District and beautiful, charming historic homes demonstrate a commitment to honoring the town's past. You guys would really enjoy visiting Montgomery, not only for the cool shops and antique stores, but to immerse yourself in that historical charm. Explore those well-preserved buildings from the 19th century and gain a deeper understanding and appreciation of Texas history. But for me, it's also to experience the friendly and welcoming atmosphere created by its residents. They're known for their genuine hospitality and the willingness to share stories and insights into Montgomery's history. Their warmth and friendliness create a sense of belonging and will make you feel right at home. It does for me, which is why we are definitely going back. We want to thank Mr. Duncan, aka Sam Houston, Dr. Robin and Joy Montgomery. Go to their Amazon store and check out their amazing books. Hey, I got mine. Pat Spocky, descendant of the creator of the Texas flag. What a, what a true honor. Adele Hansen for giving us free reign and overnight access to the Garrett House. Thank you. And last but not least, B. Rouse for all your help to get these episodes made and introducing us to all those amazing people and giving us access to the Addison Gandhi House. We, we had an amazing time. Uh, it was a true privilege meeting each and every one of you. What an awesome experience. And uh, we want to thank you, our fellow paratrippers for coming along on both investigations with us. Let us know what you think because intelligent questions and explanations, critical thinking and debunking is an integral part and crucial aspect of the paranormal and we welcome and encourage it. And if you're in the Montgomery area and know any locations that we should feature, let us know and comment down below. We'll definitely give you a shout out if you do. And please like, subscribe, and share. I know, it's annoying, I know, but, but it helps our small channel help these amazing places that we feature. And it helps us do our small part to keep history alive. Stay safe, stay healthy, because we want to see you on the next Paranormal Road Trip. Peace. Which part? He's just a poor boy from a poor family. Oh my god, I don't know what we do.